One of the reasons why many millionaires are business founders is because successful entrepreneurship helps them achieve very high income. They are not only able to receive earned income for spending their time running the business, but also founding the business creates opportunities for additional income for them. One of such additional income sources is profit income. And just like the millionaires do, profit income is an additional income that you also can exploit to build wealth. I am Dr. Charlie Ezenwa Onako, and our discussion for today will focus on profit income and the how and why you can exploit it to build work. So let's get into the discussion. Business ownership is considered one of the best strategies for building wealth because of the opportunity it creates for high income. Profit income is one of such opportunities. So for business owners, profit income is an additional income to their earned income. So you only get profit income when you establish a business and the business actually makes profit. This means that owning a business is an investment vehicle that you can exploit and invest in to make additional income. However, you can only make this additional income when the business makes profit. Profit income is now received when business makes loss. So since making the additional income requires that business makes profit, the decision to become an entrepreneur is often a difficult one for most people. So how do you determine profit income? It's a simple formula that says profit income is equal to revenue minus expenses. So your revenue is all the money or the revenue that you receive from the sales of your product or service minus expenses. And your expenses in this sense includes your cost of the product or services as well as all other expenses that you incurred in delivering that product or service. So it's a net profit in this sense, taking into consideration all every other cost that you incurred in delivering that product or service. So how do you maximize your profit income? Your focus should be to increase your revenue and decrease your expenses because it's only when your expenses, when your revenue exceed your expenses, that's when you have something left as your profit income. So your strategy should be to increase your revenue and decrease your expenses. How do you actually maximize profit income? Here are the two pointers we've identified. Increase your revenue, reduce costs and expenses. And in order for you to achieve this, consider these five important factors. Products and services, price, promotion, customers and vendors. These five factors help you to either increase your revenue or reduce your cost. So first is your product and service. Your product and service is huge. Your product and services will determine the revenue that you receive. It will determine how much of your products or services that you actually sell. So how are you maximizing that product? What kind of products do you offer? Is this something that actually adds value? Is this something that your consumers really want? Is this something that solves a need or want? So your products and services should be such that your consumers, your customers really want to buy because the more of these that you sell, the more your products and services are being demanded, the more sales you have and the more your revenue will continue to increase. So one strategy, one strategy here is to do what? To, to diversify your product and service. So if you are in the business of selling products, you can diversify to services so that you are not only getting revenue from product, you are also getting revenue from services. But the idea is to make sure that your products and services add value to your customers and they are what your customers actually need. So by diversifying your products and services, you are increasing your revenue by not depending on just revenue from products, you are also getting revenue from services. So the idea is that get as many revenue, as much revenue as possible by diversifying your products. Your price. Your price is everything. The price you charge for your products will determine if you actually sell the pro those products. It will determine how much of those products or services that you sell. And that will determine your revenue. So your price can also make or break your revenue because your price, the price you charge might make your customers buy more of your product. Or if your competitor has the same product or service at a very competitive price, you will start losing sales to your competitors. And when you start losing your sales, your revenue will start dropping. 
so your focus should be to increase your revenue and in order for you to do that you have to fix your price in such a way that you are still competitive and the price you charge for your product is reflects the actual worth of your product or service promotion how do you get your product information about your product out there to your customers how do you market your product how how do you get your product to reach wider wider customers your promotion can help you increase your sales, increase your revenue. So the more people know about your product or service, the more people you have the opportunity to convert into customers. So your promotion is huge. However, your promotion can also add to your cost. So remember, your strategy is to increase your revenue and reduce your cost. So your promotion can act can, can come on the other way, it can act contrary to your strategy because your promotion can increase your cost. A lot of times your promotion activity has to be strategically planned so that you don't incur costs, unnecessary costs that will be uh, a challenge to you achieving your profit goal. So plan your promotion in such a way that even though you're spending, but you are not spending so much that's to jeopardize your revenue goal. Customers. What customers do you serve? Have you identified your loyal customers? Are you serving a need of your customers? A lot of times people serve the wrong customers and people have not identified their real customers. And by serving the wrong customers, you are missing out on the, the, that so much sales that you should have been getting if you are serving the right customers. Your customer is huge. Your customers are the reason why your stores or your, your, your running your business, they are the reason why you are open in the first place. First place. Without your customers, you will not have any sales. And without any sales, you are not increasing your revenue. So focus on your customers. Identify who your target customers are and serve them. Identify your, their needs. Form a relationship with your customers. That way you know what they really want and need. And then you can tailor your products and services towards meeting those needs. A lot of times people are not able to charge the price, the true price, or charge the price that reflects the true worth of their product because they are serving the wrong customers. Wrong customers will not see the value in your product or services. And if they don't see that value that your product or services are offering, they won't pay the price that you are willing to sell. So make sure you're serving the right customers and make sure you're tailoring your products and services to meeting the needs of those customers. That's when you increase your revenue. Because satisfied customers, loyal customers will constantly refer your product, refer their friends and families to your business, and then you increase your sales. Vendors. Who are your vendors? Your vendors are, are as important as your customers because your vendors will determine the quality of the product you bring out there for your customers. Your vendors will determine the cost of your product because when you get your products at a very high cost from your vendors, you will definitely charge higher price and that can get you make you incompetitive in the market. So choose your vendors correctly. Vendors determine the quality of the product you have to offer. When you get low quality products from a vendor, it determines the number of sales you have. It determines how your customers perceive your product. So in order for you to increase your sales, choose your vendors correctly. Assess your vendors and if they are no longer meeting your needs, if they are no longer in line with your goals, make changes a product you buy at a particular cost from a particular vendor another vendor might offer have the same product or service at a, a reasonably low price and the product or service might be of the same quality so shop around renegotiate for lower costs because your goal remember your your goal here is to increase your revenue and reduce costs so as you strategize on these five points keep these in mind and as you increase your revenue and reduce your costs, you maximize your profit. And that's how you get the profit income. So, is owning a business a risk or a reward for you? A lot of people consider this a risk. And for the risk of not making profit and sometimes not making enough to pay themselves earned income for working full time running the business, most people will prefer to remain just comfortable working for other people and getting paid just their earned income. This could mean different things for different people, but knowing that successful world builders never rely solely on earned income could be your motivation to build wealth by establishing a business of your own. So depending on your stock of capital, the profit income could be that additional income you need to build wealth. 
what are your thoughts? Could profit income be that additional income you need to build wealth? I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Please share in the comment section below. In our next lesson, we will discuss another income source that you should exploit to build wealth. Thank you for listening and I will see you in the next lesson. <music>